Hi guys. So we are so close to talking about protein moisture balance. But before you understand how to balance moisture and protein in your hair, it is very important for you to understand moisture, protein and what ingredients you need to look out for if you have high, medium and low porosity hair, if you have fine hair, if you have coarse hair. So moisture comes in the form of water, humectants, oils and butters and today we're going to be talking about oils. You're going to understand exactly what your hair needs and what oils to look out for in your products if you have high, medium, low porosity. So without wasting any time, let's get to it. So we've spoken about butters, let's go on to oils. Hair oils are really good for curly hair because they can serve numerous purposes. They can work as heat protectants, they can help with detangling and also help with moisturization, of course. So when it comes to low porosity hair, look out for grapeseed oil because grapeseed oil is light and moisturizing. It is great to strengthen the strands. It also protects against heat and can be used for a dry scalp and dandruff issues. Secondly, you want to look at argan oil because argan oil is absorbed very quickly by the hair and it also helps to strengthen your hair. So this is another oil that you need to look out for if you have low porosity hair. Now, if you have medium porosity hair, try avocado oil because of course it is rich in amino acids, vitamins and minerals. It can really help to strengthen the hair. The second ingredient is babasu oil. Requil also has a conditioner that has babasu oil. So check that one out. Uh, babasu oil is really good for medium porosity hair because it's going to help with a dry flaky sensitive scalp and it's going to do a fairly good job of moisturizing the hair. Now, if you have high porosity hair, look out for Jamaican black castor oil because this oil is really good. It is really heavy and it is going to help with again a plethora of hair problems like rough hair, hair loss, split ends, dandruff, etc. Jamaican black castor oil is going to help strengthen, thicken and grow new hair. So high porosity girls, check out this ingredient. Shea Moisture has a few products with Jamaican black castor oil. Second ingredient, olive oil, because olive oil helps to seal in moisture and it can add a kick to your DC treatment as well. So if you have a deep conditioner and you want to add some olive oil to it, ladies, please go ahead, use a tiny amount, you should be good. But if you're going to go overboard and use too much of this, then it is going to weigh your hair down. So be really careful with the quantity that you use. I promise you these videos are very, very important for you to watch. Okay, I'm going to leave all of my sources down in the description. Please check it out because please remember that this information is not coming from me. This information is researched. I felt like you needed to have this information in video form because some of you prefer watching. So some of you are visual learners, some of you are tactile learners, some of you are auditory learners and we can't do anything if you're a tactile learner. But hopefully the audio and visual cues in the video helped you out and you have a better idea now on what to look out for in your ingredients when you're selecting products. Now look guys, I do not own all of the CG friendly products out there in the market, but hopefully this video helped you understand what to look out for and what your hair needs. And hopefully the information that you gain from this video can help you make better choices for you and your hair and your hair's particular need. All right, if you gain value from this video, as always, leave me a like, leave me a comment. Subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.